to a Kush Enchantress here with you today and I'm so glad you're on my channel. So I've decided we are going to have an announcement session before we start every um, video of mine so we can be aware about what is happening at Turquoise and Chandra stores and Universe Matters. The thing I wanted you guys to know is that I released a new content about grief and what is grief, how we experience grief and how grief affects our mental and physical health. So in this content you will be diving into how animal totems help us heal our grief. So the first animal totem of this month would be cats. So if you are interested in understanding how your grief affects you and how we can heal the grief inside us with animal totems, um, do check out my universe membership where you will find all the details that you need. Second announcement that I have for you guys today is that um, my self-help guide would be a little bit late because of how intense it is and also because of what that self-help guide is about. So this time the self-help guide talks about how we feel disconnected with our families and how to mend our relations with our families. It is also a part of, a, of healing our inner child that is, you know, making amends with our family, right? And not many people talk about it. There's one side where people talk about how family is everything. You are supposed to leave everything for family because family is the only thing which is permanent in your life. And there's the other side of this part where uh, uh, we talk about how family members can be toxic and you're supposed to leave them, right? I want to provide a new way of looking at things, right? And as we dive into today's topic, that is New Moon in Gemini with Solar Eclipse, um, we will be understanding how important it is to give people that time, that space to heal themselves, to become their best version, but also have discernment decision where you have healthy boundaries around and also make sure that those healthy boundaries are not being violated, right? That is all we're going to discuss about in the new moon. Uh, self-help guide which you will be able to find on Turquoise Enchanter stores as soon as I release it. New Moon in Gemini. So the new moon talks about new beginnings, new start, fresh start, where you can set your intentions for the coming months ahead, right? So the new moon helps us prepare ourselves for what is coming ahead. Gemini. Gemini is a sign which is known for the duality, right? Um, which is um, associated with communication, um, intellectual thinking, um, curiosity, how we perceive information. So Gemini is an overall energy of you know duality existing together that can be light and our shadow that can be our masculine and feminine can also talk about how uh, we have relation between giving and take so with this new moon in Gemini and with the solar eclipse the energy is going to be so intense because um, I want you guys to understand the energy first so you can make the best out of it so first, um, during this time, you will notice that there is a vast amount of knowledge that you will be receiving and it is really important that we understand which energy resonates with you, right? Um, it is important that we understand that which energy is aligning with you, the information that is aligning with you and the information that is not aligning with you. And it, because we receive so much information all together, it can be really um, 
confusing. It's important for us to understand that we need to dive deep into that knowledge and ask more questions about why is it that way. So we we will also notice that our roots will start to get uprooted. The roots which we have been living in, the roots, the belief systems, the things which have kept us comfortable zone would be uh, removed removed from our lives and we will be you know experiencing kind of like a tar moment where everything we once believed in is going to fall apart but you have to have faith and believe in what you believe right because during this time when the old is being uprooted, the, there it is making space for new to come in. And that is why it is important that when the universe is showing you what you need to let go of, uh, you let go of those things because the universe has something better for you. For all the superficial foundations we have for ourselves, which we think uh, is what our soul actually desires, um, are going to fall apart, push us to a point where we need to get out of our comfort zone and um, it is really important that we are not rigid about the boundaries, those roots, um, those goals we have set about ourselves and the certain way we want it to go but instead being open you know and using that pain which exists within you i do not know why but i just feel like uh talking about this part a bit where we have we all have pain in our lives but those people who use that pain to transform themselves and become a vessel of their pain are the people who succeed right you can be successful in anything you do but what is success? Success is something you do good in what you have decided in your mind. And what is it that you have decided in your mind about the pain, the grief existing inside of you determines how your reality is going to be. It is really important that we are making conscious choices about how we want our life, how we transform that pain we feel within into something beautiful, something more productive, something creative, right? This solar economy eclipse is going to make us want to explore more than one way of thinking sometimes when we are in our comfort zone we get too accustomed to how we've been thinking and we believe in subconsciously that that is the only way of thinking but the universe wants you to remember during this solar eclipse that there are more than one way of thinking one thing which might be your happy moment might not be someone else's happy moment right just because someone else's happiness uh, is not what you have in your mind doesn't mean that that is wrong or that is not happiness it can be happiness for someone else so the solar eclipse during this time is going to help you unlock different ways of looking at things so the choices we make the uh, decisions we make, the words we use to determine how we are going to be successful in our uh, future, in our reality. So choose wisely during the solar eclipse and for you to handle all of this intense energy. I've got six tips for you today. So if you are worried about how this energy is going to make you feel and how you can do the best out of it, don't you worry my love because I've got you covered. First tip I have for you, in this confusion, in this frustration, uh, when you choose to move forward, when you choose to be determined about what is it that you want, when you uh, focus on what is it that you want instead of how is it that you want it uh, you will realize you will be revealed to the secret order existing in this chaos patient being open being um, flexible with what 
with how is it you want your goal but not letting go of what is it you want would help you understand a new way of approaching what is it that you want uh, like we first discussed about the information over flooding in our social media um, anywhere you consume information from from the people you talk to on a regular basis so you will be bombarded with a lot of information and it is really important to understand that we cannot consume everything because everything does not resonate with us right so we need to dive deep into what does actually resonate with us and what does not resonate with us and how we can make the best out of both the information by taking what resonates with us and eliminating what does not resonate with us very often we find ourselves taking in too much information and feeling so confused at the end of the day uh, we understand the importance of you know taking the right information and eliminating the information which does not serve us third tip i have for you is if you are urged to you know be more curious be asking more questions about what is it that you want what do you desire what am i who am i and all of those questions i would love you guys to dive deep into those questions journal it out you know and understand how you feel what is it you want because during new moon is the time where you can set your intentions about what is it that you want so feel extremely free about the questions you ask yourself about yourself because those answers will be coming to you very soon so the questions which have been heavy on your heart for example I had to ask this question I had to be bold I had to be courageous to ask this question for that answer to come into my life so if you want answers to something be curious about it courageous to ask those questions right the folk tip I have for you guys is that understand the duality of the light and the shadow aspect of yourself it is really important that we find the balance between our light side and the shadow side to understand why the shadow side comes up why the light side is not able to shine it is really important that we understand both aspects of our life so we get a more elaborated uh, deep understanding about who we actually are and why we are this certain way acknowledge acknowledge what is the truth in front of you acknowledge if uh, what is happening around you acknowledge your emotions acknowledge how you feel in certain situations when you talk to some people uh, when you acknowledge it and recognize what is serving your best interest and what is not serving your best interest you will open this gate of healing open this gate of uh, manifest your desires into reality the sixth tip I have for you guys is listen listen to your inner voice listen to things which are coming back into your mind because we also have a lot of planets in retrograde especially mercury which is associated with uh, Gemini and that is why the old things which have triggered us at one point of time might come back and when it comes back it is not for you to get triggered but instead use that trigger use that thing which is coming back up uh, to dive deep into what it is why it is still bothering you and it's and understanding the core uh, reason why it is still affecting you and letting that go because when you let go of the old you give space for something new to come in right i hope you found this video insightful and i am grateful to the universe that i have actually finished filming this video because it has been really hectic especially with me wanting to 
change up my life I've been doing a lot of new things and also finding balance between doing new things and grounding myself and it's been a lot of me time sending you love and light bye now